is how I need to adjust my camera. <coughs> okay. Hi hey, marshmallows! It is time for part two of my MCM London haul cosplay thing. So I'm gonna show you guys all the figures I bought at Con. Woo! First of all, I'm gonna show you some blind box things. Um, these are keychains from the Ichiban store. One of them I got, one of them Ghost got, but he had two, so he gave one to me. Thank you! Thank you so much. Okay, so this one, I don't know which way around it is. I think this is the one I got, uh, which is a hidden figure. Because on the back of the box, you have the um, different keychain designs you can get. Mine was one of these, surprise ones. And yeah, I'll show you which one. Once I get it open, because I haven't opened quite a few of the things I bought on yet. <clears throat> it's like a pixelated version of Gun Girl Online Kirito, with his long hair and his... Um, light sword, energy sword thing. Yeah, it's kind of cute, very random, quite different. I wasn't expecting it. But yeah, it's cool. Really not, you know, building up a huge pile of rubbish on my bed from opening stuff. Um, this is the one the ghost gave me. It's the Alfheim Kirito um, figure, which is, I think, maybe? Oh no, no, it's not the Alfheim one. No, it's the Iron Crowd one. I was just checking the sword and the outfit, it's sometimes hard to tell. It's the Ironcrad Kitty Toe figure. I thought it was the Alfheim because the hair is really spiky, but it's not. It's the Ironcrad one. And it's really cute. And I do like Kitty Toe, so it's really sweet. Okay, so the smallest figure I got at Con was a blind box figure of a Sailor Moon character. Ta da! And I'll show you who I got. Um, sorry if I get the names wrong. I believe this is. Oh uh, no, nope, I'm rubbish. I can't remember. I've been watching the anime for not for very long, so I think it's Sailor. Is it Sailor Venus? Oh, it's not Venus. I'm sorry. I really suck at Sailor Moon characters. I do know them. It's just that I can't think of it right now. I'm too tired to think about it right now. Yeah, I got this cute little figure. She's really sweet, and I do know her name because she's one of my favorites. But I'm being silly and not remembering names right now. Yeah, she's really sweet and I'm going to put her with my figure collection. So, there was a store and it was selling a tiny mini Nendoroid figure, um, or a Suna, the really tiny ones you get, the mini ones, um, and it was £20. I was trying to look around the other stalls, as you do, when I found this figure and she was £18. So not only was she about twice the size, because the other one was like this big, um, but she also had a nice pose, she's got her little sword here, and, well, she's bigger, so that's great. So this is the Undyne Asuna figure I bought. I do collect um, sort of online figures at the moment. So I was really happy with this little find really. And she's very cute. I like her. Yeah. And I love her little ears. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so now it's for the bigger figures from my collection and Android style um, figures I bought. First up I have Super Sonico. She's still got her thing in the back because I had her on her stand. Um, she's super cute. Her headband doesn't like to stay on very well, um, which is a bit of a pain. I had to put a blue tack on to keep it on. Um, she's a very sweet little Nendoroid figure, and yeah, she's really sweet. She's not an official Nendoroid. I did check, and I do know a bit about blue bootleg figures, and her headband's coming off again. Um, I noticed that her ball joints for her legs are not the same colour as her skin tone and also the fact that her headpiece does not fit on properly and there's a few flaws in here um, she is a bootleg figure but I'm still really happy with her because she's super cute and she's a really sweet little figure and I've already wanted a little um, Super Sonica so yeah, she's really sweet next up is my Sakura Miku figure she's from a box, um, a little set of different versions of the Sakura Miku um, I've got the box up on the side, which I'll probably show when I do my figure video. Um, she literally came with just this pose, and that's it. She didn't come with any other pieces, and she doesn't. She's not interchangeable. It's she is solid. Um, it's in an Android style. I don't know if it's a bootleg or not. I don't really care. I'm not a fussy kind of person about that kind of thing. I just really loved the figure. I thought she was really cute. So I snapped her up and she wasn't too expensive either. She was about £20. So I was quite happy with that purchase. She's got a see-through sort of hair. I love the sakura flowers down the side. And she's just got an adorable little face and a cute little pose. 
So yeah, she's a really, really lovely figure. And she's got little cherries on the back of her outfit too. Okay, so the last figure, I've been saving the best to last because this is my favourite figure. You'll probably hear it actually jingling. Jingle, jingle. Um, I went to the Smile Company um, stool. I kept looking over there quite a few times over con and I just wanted a figure I liked. And I kept going back looking and going, oh, she's £40. Don't usually spend that much on a figure. But I really like it. At the end of the day on Sunday, Ghost went and got her for me. And I still owe her money for that, so I need to pay you back for that. Um, and I have these, I think it's a snowbell. Um, something like that, the little flower snowbells. But yeah, she's really cute. She's sitting on this little leafy. It took me a while to put the figure together because I've never had a Good Smile Company Nandroid figure before, so it's quite a challenge. She's got a little snow bunny, little snowbells. She's cute. And they jingle and make little noises. And she is just adorable. I've got her in a sitting pose instead of a sat standing pose because this pose was my favourite. It was the pose they had for her in the cabinet. I like that her hair moves like that as well, which is quite cool. And I love the little snowbells on her hair. So she's my favourite buy from MCM. She is just absolutely adorable. And yeah, I don't know what else to say. She's just really cute and she's... My third Miku figure, I think. So I've got a mini Nendoroid of Miku as well as the Sakura one. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. So yeah. So that's it really for my haul from MCM May 2015. I really enjoyed going to the convention. Had loads of fun. And I was so happy to meet lots of new people. Um, it was a shame we couldn't see you, Marwan. Hopefully we'll see you next time. And I hope you get better soon. And it was lovely also to see Emma Chan and all of her friends because they're all so lovely and it's fun to do photo shoots and go and have Chinese with you guys. I can't wait to see lots of people again at MCM in October. I'll see you all guys soon. Bye bye. Yeah.